Welcome to the joy of Dallas-Fort Worth traffic. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motor vlogs. Hello YouTube, this is Cruise Man out on the 2018 Goldwing. Welcome to the joy of Dallas-Fort Worth traffic. Ain't it great? Not only does everybody here drive about 15 miles an hour over the speed limit, but we have some of the worst roads and highways that I've ever driven on. Now this is a toll road, so it's a little bit better. They do maintain this better than they do the interstates here. But uh, we've had so much truck traffic, big uh, semi-traffic coming up from Mexico that it's really destroyed our roads. And the worst uh, section of I-35 is between Dallas-Fort Worth and Austin. It's, it's just too dangerous. Uh, to ride on a motorcycle. I, you see ruts all the time that are three or four inches deep and about three or four inches wide, five inches wide, just wide enough for a motorcycle tire to get down in. And man, I'm telling you, you don't want that to happen. Just a little refresher. Last week, uh, last Friday, Chris Caliente and Brother Cowboy and Jason Brown and Bubba Smith were all in cahoots with me for a ride a short ride we rode up to uh cycle gear in bedford texas i think in my first video i said it was Euless. it's actually bedford somebody corrected me thank you for correcting me road glide and uh, i get confused because bedford and Euless, i never know where one ends and the other one begins they're right next to each other they called the mid cities hearst Euless, bedford or H-E-B, I should say. I'm on my way to Arlington, Texas. It's a little bit different uh, view for you. Instead of me going to the post office, I'm actually uh, on my way to Arlington, Texas to go to the dentist. Believe it or not, I've been going to the same dentist for over 20 years. And we used to live in Arlington. So for the last 16 years, I've been driving or riding the bike. I usually go on the bike from Carrollton to Arlington, which is about a 45 minute drive. So I guess it'd be easier to go to a dentist a little closer to home because they're on every corner now. At least Obamacare didn't take away my dentist. They took away my doctor, but they didn't take away my dentist. And they took away my insurance like they said they wouldn't do. So <clears throat> they said I was gonna be able to keep my doctor and keep my insurance and I lost my insurance and my doctor. You know, but the good news is the cost of my health care insurance doubled. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the battery tender product. And before I get into that, I would like to ask your help with something. If you enjoy my videos, my motor vlogs, my how-to videos, please take a second to click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click on the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos, which is pretty regular basis. And we'll be coming out with a lot more videos now that spring and summer and riding season is here, especially motor vlogs. So let's talk about the battery tender. This is a device that is designed to keep your battery charged at a nice full level when you're not riding. And you basically plug it in to a wall socket, a 110 socket. Now I have the Battery Tender Junior. I use the small one. Uh, but they all work the same way. They have their own kind of proprietary little two-pin plug. And you install one end on your battery. And the other one connects to the Battery Tender itself. And you plug that into your wall socket. And then when you connect the two, this little device will kind of keep your battery fully charged and in good condition. 
Now, you might ask yourself, what is the advantage of using this? Do you really need this? Well, I would say if you ride your motorcycle every day, uh, you probably don't have to use a battery tender because your riding by itself will keep the battery pretty well charged. However, if you're like most people, and you may only ride your motorcycle once a week or once every couple of weeks, or for those periods of times where you're gonna store the motorcycle like during the winter months. Now we don't do that in Texas because we can ride almost year round. And different people have different riding styles. So, you know, they may ride when it gets down to 20 degrees. So they, they ride more often. But if you, if you store your bike for any period of time where you're not riding it, then it's really a good idea to use a battery tender because it will keep that battery charge level where it needs to be. Now, some people will argue, well, if the bike's turned off, what difference does it make? Because, you know, nothing's really using the battery anyway. Ah, but that's not true nowadays. These new cars and new motorcycles have so many computers and so many clocks and other things. They're always running in the background, even when the bike's turned off. There is a low voltage drain going through that battery. And plus, the battery just sitting without any drain on it will eventually lose charge. So, a battery tender is a good idea. Now, I want to, you know, make this uh, disclaimer. I'm referring to a traditional, typical battery like I have on my Goldwing, like comes from the factory. If you've replaced your battery with a lithium ion or one of these new lightweight, different style batteries, I don't really know uh, you may, if a traditional battery tender will work on that style battery, you may have to have one specifically designed for a lithium ion battery. Of course, you want to make sure you get the correct battery tender for your motorcycle and your application. Uh, they do make battery tenders for six volt batteries, and obviously that's not going to work on a Goldwing battery or most motorcycle batteries today, because they're going to be 12 volt batteries. Other than that, you can use the regular battery tender or you can use what I use, the battery tender junior. And I simply use it because it's got a smaller footprint and it does a great job. I've never had a problem with it. In fact, I think I've been using the same battery tender since I had my 2006 Goldwing or 2005 Goldwing. So I've had this battery tender for, gosh, I know more than 10 years. So they're very reliable and I think they do a great job and I'm a big believer in the battery tender. Now let's talk about hooking it up. First of all, some people ask me all the time, is it safe to hook one up to the 2018 Goldwing because of the CAN bus electrical system? Well, the battery tender is actually connecting directly to your battery. So it's uh, you might say in front of the CAN bus system. It doesn't, it never interacts or uh, comes in contact with CAN bus. It's, or your motorcycle's electrical system for that matter, it's simply connecting to the battery terminals and powering it from there. So yes, it is safe to use a battery tender on a 2018 plus Goldwing. Well, you can hook it directly to the battery terminals, which is what most people do, you have a, a positive and a negative cable, and the positive cable has a, I believe it's a seven and a half volt, or seven and a half amp fuse. And you can connect those terminals directly to your battery. That's one way. However, if you have an isolation fuse block, like the one from Showchrome, like I have, you have the option of connecting the battery tender to one of the hot connectors on the fuse block, which is what I did. The reason I connected my battery tender terminal or wires to the fuse block was because I, I didn't want to have a lot of different things connected to my battery terminals. 
And since I already have the isolation fuse block wired to the positive and negative on the battery, I just didn't want to hang a bunch of different things off of the battery terminals. So fortunately, you've got two, what they refer to as hot connectors, terminals, that are fused on this uh, isolation fuse block. One of them is a 5 amp and one of them is a 10 amp. And you can see they're clearly marked. You can look at the fuse and it'll show you which one is which. And so I hooked up to the 10 amp fuse and that's where my battery tender wire is connected to. Now I was able to route the cable and the little connector that connects to the other end of the battery tender, you can route it out through the small opening in the side panel. Believe it or not, there is a way to route that little connector through that opening without cutting anything or drilling anything. You just it'll just it'll fit right through there. And it just kind of sits there. You can kind of tuck it up out of the way when you're not using it. And then when you need to connect it, you just kind of pull it out. And hook it up now some people let it hang out kind of under the seat and you can do that uh, there's always a chance that it's going to rub the paint of your side panels and i don't want to do that so i decided to run it out through that little uh, decorative you might say a decorative opening on the side panel but you can hook it up you know wherever you want to that's just the way i did it it's going to work the same no matter where you put it and so what I typically do is if I know I'm not going to be riding the bike for more than two or three days, I'll go ahead and hook up the battery tender because it's not going to hurt your battery. You could hook it up every night, even if you ride every day. It's not going to harm your battery. It's only going to do, it's only going to do good things, not bad things. So I'm a big believer in the battery tender, and I think you should consider getting one. So that's, I'll also put a link down below in the description of this video. If you look at the description on YouTube, I'll put a link uh, where you can purchase the battery tender that I have through Amazon.com. Don't you love this traffic? Now, I, I've got to include a shameless plug for my 2018 plus Goldwing videos. I know I've mentioned it before in my other motor vlogs that right now, in March, we've got this spring riding promotion. If you want to save 20% on the full set of maintenance videos, now's the time to do it because this is a limited time offer. You just have to use the word spring at checkout when you buy the videos on Vimeo.com. And they're all, the, the spring promotion is also good on the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing videos. But I do appreciate your comments. I do appreciate your involvement. And I'm not looking forward to the rest of this traffic. And I'm not exactly looking forward to the dental appointment. But who does? So that's all for now. Until next time on Cruise Bands Motovlogs.